Microsoft Copilot is an AI powered chatbot and is completely free to use. And you could use it to do lots of different things. A lot of people use it to write any type of content like a blog post or email. It could summarize a large amount of text that you could copy and paste to it and ask for a summary. It could even create images for you inside of chat. It could search the web for you and actually give you a nice summary of the web page and a lot more different use cases here that we're gonna cover in this complete tutorial. Now, the best way to get started with Microsoft Copilot is on their website. That is copilot.microsoft.com. You could go ahead and access this here. They do also have apps for your phone too. So if you wanna download the app for your phone later, it's gonna work the same way that I'm gonna show you here on the website. Now, the first thing I recommend you do is go ahead and press sign in right here, and it's gonna ask you to sign in with your Microsoft account. So you most likely have a Microsoft account, but if you don't have one, just create a personal account or create or log in with your work account here. The reason why you wanna log in is because once you sign in, you could actually ask it more questions and have a longer conversation. Now, once you sign in, you'll just see your name on top over here and that message will go away so you could have longer chats. So the very first thing you'll see over here is this box where you could ask it any questions. And I'm gonna share with you some things that you could just copy and paste if this is brand new to you. If using these AI chatbots are brand new to you, you'll have some options here for copy and pasting some examples. But right over here, you also have three different options. And these are really useful. So right now by default, I'm set to more balanced. So if you're using this for everyday tasks, and for most of us, this is a good place to start. But if you're using this for any type of creative projects, let's say you want a poem or you want a creative story that you wanna use this to write, you could use this creative mode and it's just gonna change the little colors over here. So more balanced blue, and then you have more precise. So if you want very well-defined research, for example, this is a useful option. So I usually use this for fact-finding, research-based type of a question. I'll start here with more balanced and we'll go ahead and ask a question to start. Now, a lot of people use this for business oriented tasks or marketing tasks. So I own a small coffee shop. I'm looking to increase customer loyalty. What are some effective strategy I could implement? So I just copy and paste this and I'll include lots of examples in the description of this video that you could copy and paste and send this out. And as you can see, it's giving me an answer. Let me go to the top of the answer here. Now this answers you in two ways. It basically combines two different sources. The first source is its own knowledge base, its own training data. So the way these chatbots work is they basically get trained on a large amount of data, sometimes billions of words as they get more evolved. So then once they have that, they could actually answer you from that knowledge base. But another way it does that, the second way is if I go down to the bottom here, it also pulls things from the internet. So this is a power of Copilot. It actually searches the web and instead of giving you links to click on, which a Google search is gonna do for us, this takes things from these different links that it put here, these five different sources, and actually assembled a very conversational chat for us to understand things a lot easier. So this is really a way to replace Google search from time to time. Google search is still good. Bing, if you use Bing search engine, is still good, but this actually makes it a lot easier. You just get the answer. You don't have to go filter through websites. This AI does the work for you. Now on the bottom, we have a few different options. So the thumbs up and thumbs down are just for you to give feedback to this chatbot so it could improve over time. Copy, if you just wanna copy this whole answer, really easy way to copy. You could always select it if you want sections of it copied as well and just right click and then go ahead and copy it this way as well. But this copy copies the entire message. Export, if you press this, it could actually take it from here into Microsoft Word into a PDF or into a text doc. So this is a really nice way to get this out of this website. You also could share it. So if you share it, it's gonna bring this up and it creates a link for you to share this chat with anyone or just use these social links. So sharing is nice. You could also search on Bing, which is something is done already for us. But if you click this, it does a normal search that you've seen before. But you'll see this little Copilot icon. You could click that and it basically brings you back to Copilot. So this is a nice way to kind of double check your work sometimes. But in this case, since it's connected to the web, we've already done that step. You could get it to read out loud. And right here, this changes from time to time, depending on how busy it is, especially 
with this free version of Copilot, one out of 30, that means you could continue this conversation 30 times before it runs out. Then it won't have any memory of the conversation you had and it ends it, so you have to start a new conversation. To start a new conversation, you press new topic and start it that way. But here's the power of these AI chatbots. Right now, this gave me five, six different ideas, right? Now, I could actually have a follow-up conversation with it. So it's going to give me some suggestions on how to follow up. Tell me more about mobile apps. So I'm assuming that was one of the options. Yeah, mobile app was one of the options. So I could ask it to tell me more. Or I could just type it in. So let's say I like number four, social media marketing. Tell me more about number four. Now, this knows the conversation we've been having, right? As long as it's taking place in the same chat. And now it's going to tell us more about social media marketing here. And it's going to break down in a nice, really organized way what we need to do step by step. And as you can see, now we're at 2 out of 30. So we could continue this conversation as long as we need to till we get to 30. And we get a nice, precise plan here with this specific prompt. Let's start a new chat. This time I'm going to go to the more creative tab and I'll type in a more creative prompt. I'm working on a story about a time traveler who accidentally changes history. Can you help me brainstorm some potential consequences for their action? Let's say I'm writing a movie script or a novel. This is the creative mode. It comes into really, really handy for that type of use case. And by the way, as it's answering you and you think it's going in the wrong direction, you could just press stop responding here too. So it will stop it so you don't have to actually wait for it to go ahead and finish. Okay, this gave us 10 different responses. So another way you could follow up with these conversations is not just to continue the conversation, but you could change the response. So maybe you want to change the tone. Okay, I want to change the tone for a comedy. Now this is going to change the tone to sound more like a comedy movie instead of this science fiction type of a tone that he used to write the first response. And you could always do this with any type of thing to change the tone, make it more serious, make it more professional, make it more friendly. Those prompts come in really, really handy. And as you start using this more and more and you get more conversational, you're going to get better at these type of prompts that you put into this box. This whole art is called prompt engineering. Basically, how do you respond to these AI chatbots and how do you follow up with them to get the best response? That's called prompt engineering. I'll show you a source a resource at the end here if you want to dive deeper into prompt engineering. Now, this could also do things relating to images. So it could turn a text into an image and you could also analyze existing images that you upload to it too. So let me show you how this works. Create a logo for my ice cream shop that has a unicorn. Let's see if we could get this one to work. And look at that. We got ourselves four different images and he even created the text for us too. And sometimes it gets the spelling wrong, but looking at a couple of these, you only got the spelling wrong here where it just made up some text, but these are pretty good. So if you click on one of these, it's going to open it up here. And over here, if I press these three dots, I could go ahead and download it from here directly to my computer. And I could also edit this in designer. So let me click this. It actually opens this whole different web page. And this is called Microsoft Designer. It's a whole different thing. I have a different video about this, but this lets you do all kinds of different editing to it. So you could actually do all kinds of different color changes. You could actually erase different sections of it. You could add your own text to it just by clicking here and putting your text somewhere else within this image. And then I could go ahead and like shrink down the rest of it, right? So I could design all kinds of different things. And it gives me all kinds of AI design ideas too. So I could just click and see what different ideas I get from this AI design. Again, this is Microsoft Designer, a whole different app but a real nice way to actually create something inside of Copilot and then open up and do some fine editing. Now let's go ahead and upload an image. So right here it says add an image. So why would you want to add an image? Well, a lot of times you could analyze any image. So you could analyze graphs for you or to see what's inside of an image, learn design ideas from an existing image. So I'll just show you, I'll upload an image from my computer and just say, what is this? And it could basically analyze exactly what's in the image and it does an extremely great job. So you could see chat GPT memory prompts included. So you could read the text and it gives us some more resources. So it does a web search. So OpenAI is the company that makes chat GPT. So it gave us a link to that to learn more. And look, it's the right link. This is memory and new controls for chat GPT, which is what this thumbnail was for. That was for a video 
talking about chat GPT memory. So really nice to be able to analyze any type of images. And as always, you could have a back and forth conversation about this or type in a follow up prompt to learn more about what's in the image. OK, now on the right side here, all your history is going to remain here. So you could always go back to an existing conversation by just clicking over here and it's going to take you back to the previous conversation. So that's one of the reasons why you want to sign in into your account so you could remember your recent chats. You could always delete them from here. You could always share and export them from here, too. And on top, you'll see what are called GPTs, these Copilot GPTs. So Designer, I showed you, that was that whole different app, but it does have its own chat box over here, too. If you want to plan a vacation, there's a whole layout for that as well. So that's going to change it to vacation mode. You have a cooking assistant, fitness assistant, and I'm sure they're going to add more. But these are kind of a more specific chatbot for doing these very specific tasks. And back on the home page, besides these GPTs, you also have these things called plugins. So plugins need to be activated. So search is activated, but you could actually turn off web search if you just want Copilot to respond to you based on his training knowledge and not web searches. So this is kind of an interesting way to do this. A lot of times you don't need web searches. If you're summarizing documentation, if you're writing blog based on older content that doesn't need web search, this could be a way to actually see if you get something different. Instacart, kayak, if you're doing any type of travel, shopping, these could all be turned on. One of them that's really, really interesting is this app called Suno. And Suno basically creates music from a text prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and activate this. And then you could say create a song. But as long as this plugin is turned on over here, it's going to actually use that plugin. You could see it's using it right now. OK, there we go. So it created lyrics. It writes the lyrics too. And it created this song. It's about a minute long. Let me press play. OK, you get the idea here and you could follow up so you could turn this into a rock song or a rap song or you could use any of these follow up prompts here to make it darker or I love to hear the melody. So you could click this and it'll go to work and give you a different response here. Now, you also see this thing called Copilot Pro. So, so far we've been using this free version of Copilot, but they actually have a paid version of Copilot too. So let me show you what that does. Basically, the main thing Copilot Pro does that Copilot does not do is it actually gives you Copilot inside of some of your favorite Microsoft apps. So you get Copilot inside of Microsoft Word, inside of Excel, inside of PowerPoint, and inside of Outlook. And this makes all these apps a whole lot more useful. But this does require you to have all these apps already, and you have to also pay for Copilot. As I'm recording this, is $20 a month to get Copilot Pro. Now, also, I didn't mention this before, but your regular Copilot, what is driving the Copilot, the technology behind the scenes, that AI behind the scenes, is actually ChatGPT. So if you've ever used ChatGPT before, Copilot is powered by the same tech. It's actually called GPT-4, the latest version of ChatGPT. The really strange part, though, is the free version of Copilot is powered by GPT-4 for free. But inside of ChatGPT, you have to pay for that. So this is a workaround. Actually, you could get GPT-4 completely free inside of this free version of Copilot. It is somewhat limited, though. So if it's really busy, it does limit you on how much you could use it. Or you might just use a different version of GPT, which is not as good as GPT-4. But if you get Pro, you get access to ChatGPT4 or GPT4, basically the model that is driving the chat in the background during peak hours. So when it's busy, you're going to get the best performance out of it here. Now, if you want more resources, basically the way you talk to these chatbots, Copilot, ChatGPT, Google has one called Gemini. This is called prompt engineering. So the better you get at prompt engineering, the better your experience and your responses out of these models. So at first, it's going to look like they're giving you generic responses. You just have to get good at giving the right prompt and it's going to get better and better over time. So we have a few different resources here. This is Skill Leap AI and basically this platform is like Netflix. So you subscribe for one low fee and you get access to all the top AI courses. Typically people sell these for $150, $500 per course. We just have these in a low monthly subscription and you get access to all of them. So if you wanted to learn prompt engineering, we have an entire course for that. If you wanted to learn how to use ChatGPT, 
We have a complete course on that as well. We have a complete AI course and we have more in-depth Copilot courses too. So Copilot is inside of Windows. So you could learn how to use it inside of Windows. It's inside of Microsoft 365, what I showed you with Copilot Pro. We have an entire course on that. And we have other courses on the top AI tools and we release new courses every single month on this platform. So it's the best way to not have to buy individual courses and just keep up with AI in a really nice, easy way in these courses that get released and updated constantly. So I'll put a link in the description to Skill Leap AI if you want to learn more about that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.